The Dave the Diver and Dredge collaborative DLC is here, but is it any good? Does it capture the magic of these two surprise titles? This is Frank from Marsman Gaming, and in this video, I give the good, the bad, and give my galactic grade and my final verdict on the Dave the Diver DLC. 2023 has been a loaded year for gamers, and one of the groups that have really stood out this year is the indie and small studio. Dave the Diver released in June on PC and on the Switch in October, which we reviewed. Make sure to go check it out, by the way. And spoiler alert, it had me hooked. So it came to my surprise while watching the Game Awards between all the ads and the devs being told to hurry the hell up in their victory speeches that we were being blessed with a free Dave the Diver and Dredge collaborative DLC. Both Dave the Diver and Dredge got vast praise and were both nominated for Indie Game of the Year. With this surprising news, my attention was grabbed and when December 15th came rolling around, I grabbed my diving gear and dove right on in. Now before we continue with the review, if you like variety gaming content which includes reviews, that opinion pieces, and streams, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe for future content. And now back to the review. First, I want to talk about the good. Now, without question, Dave the Diver and Dredge complement each other very well. Dave the Diver has usually a colorful and joyful vibe to it, while Dredge is spooky and dark. They are the peanut butter to each other's jelly, the salt to the other's pepper, the burger to the other's fries. I think you get the message. And in this DLC, the devs did a very good job of combining the environments and components of Dredge into to Dave the Diver's diving and restaurant management formula. The Dredge DLC activates when a player has unlocked the chicken farm for a couple days. And when you check the weather map, you see a foggy day on the horizon. This foggy day and night brings a darker and spookier environment to Dave the Diver. A quick PSA though, make sure when you load your game that you see the Dredge symbol in the top right corner that shows the DLC loaded correctly. When this foggy day comes, this will prompt a new character arriving that night known as a traveling merchant. This merchant will inform you of some of the changes to the blue hole waters on these foggy nights. This includes the addition of 34 new fish species called aberrant fish. These fish look gross, mutated, and quite frankly awesome. You also get the ability now to control your boat and traverse different areas of the blue hole waters. At specific locations you'll also be able to use new dredge system to obtain various items and three new locations where you can dive into the waters. Each location looks different and has different types of aberrant fish. I really like the combination of some of the gameplay components from Dredge added to Dave the Diver. The DLC also provides a new gun called the Drain Gun that sucks the life of a fish at a decent range, but at the risk of damaging the rank of that fish's carcass. The gun is kind of cool, a little bit hard to get used to, but I do like that you only need to find the gun once to unlock the ability to craft it, but it usually takes around three times for other weapons. Finally, the traveling merchant also describes being visited by new hooded figures who will now visit the Banko Sushi restaurant on these foggy nights, along with your normal customers. These hooded figures will have a desire to eat meals involving the aberrant fish. I really like this added feature as Banko Sushi restaurant is one of the best aspects of the game in my opinion. Opinion. And now it is not only vital to gain resources for your normal customers, but also these hooded figures. It's also not about resource gathering, but you also have to balance your menu between the different customers. Normal customers will not eat meals with aberrant fish, and vice versa with the hooded customers. This adds a strategic element to the restaurant management. With the good, we have to talk about the bad. And without question, the biggest issue I had was the implementation of the DLC content. Let me explain. I don't want to sound like a hater as this DLC is free, and I love me some free stuff. But there isn't a great amount of content in this update, and the developers have to try to spread the content over a period of time to avoid players like myself running through the DLC. As mentioned earlier, the DLC content starts and can only be accessed on a foggy day and night. From my experience, these foggy days occur every fifth day in the game. What compounds this problem is you can only dive into the dredge content on the night of that foggy day, which also also reduces your Banco restaurant management shift by one third. This means that you have to do a minimum eight dives and four Banco restaurant shifts before you set to the foggy day. And then you can only get the dredge content at night of that day. For someone like me who is on New Game Plus and have practically 100%ed the game's content, it was tiring and tedious to get to the DLC stuff. Now, if you haven't beaten the game, I believe this will be less noticeable as it blends with your normal activities and missions. But this felt like another
another DLC I played this year, and that was the Sea of Thieves Monkey Island DLC. Now obviously there are major differences, but the devs for that DLC also broke the content into multiple parts to try to stretch it out. And when you played each part by itself, it felt like a small appetizer when I wanted a full course meal. And this felt the same. I really wish Dave the Diver devs allowed us to access some dredge content during the foggy day and not just at night. I also wish they added some new dredge themed VIP guests and bosses. As part of what I enjoyed the most from this DLC is their ability to blend components of Dave the Diver and dredge into one. But two ingredients that made Dave the Diver a well-rounded dish was the bosses and VIP guests you experienced throughout the game. And unfortunately, we did not get that in this update. Overall, I thought the Dave the Diver and Dredge DLC had positives and negatives. I believe the devs deserve a lot of credit for blending Dredge components into the gameplay loop of Dave the Diver. I think this really did a good job of capturing the magic these two games tried to impose. The new fish were cool, the hooded figures added a strategic component to the Banco restaurant management, plus this bad boy was free. However, getting access to the content felt tedious and tiring for someone on New Game Plus, and the lack of some of the content only gave me a taste when I wanted a meal. I am giving this Dave the Diver and Dredge DLC a 7.5 out of 10 on my galactic grade. This was a solid DLC, and even though it didn't satisfy all my needs, I will be putting away my scuba gear for now but looking forward to the next update thank you everyone for watching what are your thoughts on the dave the diver and dredge dlc let us know in the comments below and remember to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to help the channel this is frank from marsman gaming signing off see you